Over here we have more cars. Out at the Rust Ranch today to film around a little. This is my friend Joe's place. Everything out here is for sale, so if you see something you like, email. A lot of these pretty well parts cars. There's a couple out here that could be brought back. 58 Buick Century, four-door post. Pretty wet, so I gotta watch where my feet are. Rows of 46, 7, 8 Ford cars. Seventy eight and seventy nine trucks, and then seventy one or seventy two truck here. Seventy seven super cab with a title that one I think was running. Another old farm truck. Camper special. Fifty seven Buick Roadmaster. It's one that I helped him go pick up. Regrettably, before I started the YouTube channel, because that would have been a pretty great place to film and tell the story of. Got a Hudson, about a 52 maybe. Got a little Volvo. That Volvo is in one of my early, early videos. The abandoned shop in Newton. Check it out. 53, I believe, Studebaker. Commander. And then about a 63 Challenger. Sixty eight Cougar, Old Pontiac, fifty three or fifty four. International KB two. Kind of a long bed half ton thing. Two more Volvos, also from the same place. And this little Toyota pickup here, that actually came from that property too, over in Newton at the abandoned shop. Here are the geese taking flight there. 47 to 53 Chevy pickup, 60s Ford, got a couple Fraser cars, Chevy Grill. We got a Kaiser here. And then another kind of rare Kaiser with the early hatchback in the back there. Flips down into a tailgate. And then that hatch folds up. 
pretty neat car back in its day and even more unique now. So that's that little corner. Then we've got more Ford trucks. We have a, another 78 or 79. If a guy is a case tractor fan, that's your cutlers. <laughs> We kind of joked about that, that it'd be cool pulling a case tractor behind it. Have a three quarter ton Ford pickup there. It's about a 59, that blue one, and then the Robin's Egg Teal one. This is a four wheel drive, three quarter ton. This 68 truck. 69 also came out of the place there in Newton. They said the kid was driving that one and got in some trouble and then had it taken away from him. So that would be a good truck to do a will it run. See if 25 years later, if we can get that thing to fire up and maybe drive it around the property here. Another old three quarter ton four wheel drive. Pretty cool truck, really. Those both had the earlier style bed. That was something Ford did when they had the unibody for the half tons and then the three quarter ton had that. Bed still retained. This truck here, 79, pretty clean truck. Got a Hades bullnose truck and then another 70, early 70s. There is a another Ford back here. This one is a 59, it looks like. I gotta watch where I'm going because it's pretty puddled. Pink Rambler, 58 or 59. This came from Winslow's in McPherson. Over here we have more cars. 53 or 54, Kaiser Manhattan. Continental kit on that one, kind of cool piece. About a 62 or 3 Studebaker. And then a Nash. That Nash was also from the Newton property. He can see at the beginning of the video that's the car I'm sitting on a little update on that place it's been completely wiped clean the sh old shop's gone the new shop's gone the farmhouse has been flattened and hauled away every tree on the place is gone so I consider that a good privilege that I had to be able to go and document that place and show it before it was completely gone and this is Packard Row have a 48 to 50 and then a 55 and then a 51 to 54 we have a pretty rare one next to those that is a international short wide bed <laughs> Pretty, pretty uncommon old truck. Not one you're gonna see around every corner. Don't remember which motor that one had. I think it was the V8. This 
stick shift in that one. For an international, not real bad. The international is one that liked the rest, so if you find one that's still decent like that, it's something that can be brought back. Packards, cool patina on the early 50s one there. He does have a Packard straight eight in the shed too that is available to buy. The Buick straight eight also. Here we have a International Scout parts truck and a 5345 Studebaker. Not a terribly lot left of them, but if you need some pieces, there's some pieces. That's video number one, and if you like this content, subscribe, see what I find next. I'm going to bring you second video for Joe's place, and we're going to walk the other half of the cars and trucks.